<clears throat> it was a long, long night. Long drive through Kansas, through rainstorms, thunderstorms, piles of hail. Drive that probably should have taken us about eight hours, took us closer to 11, maybe 12. That's what happens when you travel with kids. I'm not flying with three kids because that is crazy expensive and ridiculous amount of stress. So we drove. Don't know if that uh, alleviates any of the stress, but actually definitely alleviates some of the cost. So we're finally here, Kansas City. Everybody's kind of recovering from the drive. One of the things I'm gonna to do today is the 21 push-up challenge. I was challenged by my buddy Mario, who lives here in Kansas City. Really disturbing fact, every day 22 veterans will commit suicide. That's unacceptable. These are people that have put their lives on the line for our freedoms in this country, and as we get ready to celebrate Independence Day, it's important to remember what these people go through on a daily basis. The ones who go there and put their lives on the line on a daily basis, and the ones who have come back and have seen atrocities that you and I could never deal with. So the 22 push push-up challenge is something people are doing to raise awareness for this horrible statistic that it's something needs to be done about, that 22 veterans take their lives every day. So it's 22 push-ups every day for 22 days. So I'm going to kick that off today and I'm going to be challenging one of my buddies. Ah, all right, 22 push-ups, day one. You know what? It's actually a beautiful day here in Kansas. I always talk a lot of smack on Kansas, but uh, out here, it's pretty beautiful today. And it's a nice warm day. I think we can go swimming. But first, I gotta play pool boy. And uh, now we're gonna have some good home-cooked lasagna with some friends. <laughs> Two and a half feet by a foot and a half wide, leaned up against the wall. And his knee right through it. She woke me up, and I got up to see if she was okay, and I slipped, <laughs> and there was this, this uh, picture that I actually took down. I didn't hang it. There was blood all over the floor. Oh. It was just so we're scrubbing the carpet. I, it, I, I felt like I was calm. Like, I felt like we were trying to hide the evidence. <laughs> I know. Well, because the thing is, so I get him in the car. We're going to go to the closest hospital. No. We're gonna to go to this one all the way over here. We passed three hospitals to get the hospital he wanted to go to. Well, because that's where his doctor was. Who cares who you're, it's a, it, your knee is falling off. We pull in the ER and I go in there and I'm like, I need a wheelchair. They're like, we don't have any. You're an ER, how do you have no wheelchair? We're out. How are you out of wheelchairs? You're in an emergency room. So I'm literally having to carry my dad in through the ER and they're like, uh, take a number. He's bleeding all over the place. You want me to take a freaking number? It was so bad. It was funny like afterwards. Oh, afterwards was hilarious. I heard her yell and 
She's screaming at him because he's bleeding all over the floor. Yeah. He comes up. And that's he's like, like, oh, that's what I get yelled at for things like that. Bleeding all over the floor. Yeah. How dare you bleed over the floor? No, he was like, no, but there were footprints all over. I swear to God. So I grabbed him and I walked into the bathroom and I said, just sit down. Sit down and give me your leg. And I put it up on the bathtub and I was looking at it. And I was just staying really calm. But the whole time I was thinking, Oh, Whenever I ran upstairs and I saw that, I literally the first thing that popped in my head was like, with all the blood, it was like, oh my god, my mom finally killed him. <laughs> I was like, blood everywhere. After thirty years. And then she's all crying and I hope he's okay. <laughs> <laughs>